I see so many ads on Facebook. I sell my whole equipment. Just a few time used. It's too complicated. It's overwhelming. I suck at it. And so on. Why is this? Why do so many beginners drop the ball and just stop this amazing hobby? Let's look today at five traps that beginners run into and how we can omit them. This is View Into Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. Let's go. So let's start right away with number one. I call it Ask for Introduction. What I mean with that is beginners who ask in Facebook groups or forums that they just would like an introduction into the whole hobby. Or they ask for books who can give them a nice introduction. And unfortunately, that's not how it works. The issue is twofold. On one side, the hobby is extremely complex, involving so much technology, so much knowledge, so much software that it can simply not be taught in a book or in just some helpful posts at a forum. And the other reason is that this hobby evolves blazing fast because it relies so much on technology, on hardware and software that if you would write a book about it, it will be outdated by the moment you release it. So what to do about it? Well, you're actually at the right place. This is the place, not just my channel, YouTube in general. There is so much great content produced about astrophotography within YouTube that I would say I can get 95% of all the information that I need for this hobby right here at YouTube. For the very specific questions, you can then go to Facebook groups, to forums and ask the questions there and you will find amazing communities who are more than happy to help. So let's go to number two and that is buying it all at once. And I think that's quite a funny one. I encountered it already a few times that people wrote, oh, could you tell me anything about astrophotography? Because actually tomorrow I get my whole gear delivered. The mount, the telescope, the camera, the electronic focuser, the filters, and, 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 and. And you know, I understand. You have a lot of money and congratulations. That's great. <laughs> but it's just a recipe for disaster. Because if a beginner get so much equipment at once and puts it all together, you will be completely overwhelmed and you will never understand where the issues lie. And this is one characteristic of this hobby that there's always some issues somewhere. So if you're that person and you just already ordered everything from the list, a whole set, my recommendation is once you receive the boxes, Put most of the boxes right away in a cupboard and lock it away. And just start with the telescope and the mount. And once you mastered these two things, then perhaps add the camera, but just the camera. Just work with that. And then you might add some filters and so on, but one step at a time. That's absolutely crucial. So let's go to number three, wanting to do everything. You know, sometimes, People ask for advice for a telescope, for a camera, whatever, and people ask them, so, so what do you want to do with it? And they go like, oh yeah, I like galaxies, I like planets, nebula would be nice, right? And so on. So I understand that everything that's up there in the sky is amazing and you want to shoot it. But, but stick at the moment with one thing and do that good. You want nebula? Fine. You want galaxies? Fine. You want planets? Fine. But not all three, because they need different equipment. And while you can obviously suboptimally shoot the other things then too, but really ensure that one thing, the one thing that is closest to your heart, that is most fascinating for you, that you have the right equipment to shoot that in its most beauty. Now the next one might be a little bit a controversial one. Don't wait to move into astrophotography. You know, there are these beginners who bought a telescope, look at it visually with an eyepiece, and they state that they would be interested in astrophotography. And then people go like, oh, no, 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 no. This is too complicated. This is overwhelming. Just stick with your visual stargazing for another year or so until you're firm, until you understand all the constellations and everything. And then you go into astrophotography. And I would say, no, no, just do it right now. Because, let's face it, visual astronomy is boring as hell. It's watching 
little tiny stars, little smudges, which could be something like a nebula. I don't know. I think that is a bigger risk that people get just bored out of their mind with the visual astronomy than that they're overwhelmed with the astrophotography. That's just my opinion. So if someone's interested in astrophotography, by all means, start it. It's so much more beautiful and it leads to so much more amazement. Just take it carefully, step by step. Now, last but not least, point five. Do not get discouraged. There's so many beginners who throw the towel because they're just frustrated. Every time they go out there, they have another problem. Once it's the back focus, once it's the camera, once it's the software, and there's always something who doesn't work and they believe it's just not up to them, it's their stupid. But the fact is, that's just part of the game. It is an extremely complex hobby and the more complex something gets, the more prone it is to errors. But don't see that as a showstopper, see it as a challenge. Because at the very end, it would be so boring if you could simply every night just point your telescope somewhere and get the most beautiful photos and that's it. Where would be the fun of it? This hobby really is about overcoming these challenges and at the end having this one beautiful photo where you can be really, really proud of. Because you overcame all the challenges, everything was running smoothly for this one evening and here you are, you know. So I hope this was helpful. And if I was only able to stop one beginner from throwing the towel and selling all their equipment, then I'm already very happy and this video was worth it. But wait, there's the sixth advice I would have. By all means, subscribe to this channel because there's so much great content coming. With that, see you next time and clear skies. Okay.